So this is the July 2024 edition of what I've been writing with lately. This is the video in which I talk about the pens and pencils I've been using lately. And that's not a set of reviews or recommendations or anything like that. It's just what's been on my desk. And that could be the case for a number of reasons, which I'll probably talk about in the video. But it's a just a kind of insight into what I've been using these days. It's the summer, of course. So my writing reflects that less variety, more on the go, less pencils for various reasons. Anyway, here's what we have. Kind of a weird group since it's all sort of muted and almost monochrome. That's not a purpose, just kind of a reflection of more about the pens that have been coming out lately than what I've been, you know, choosing to use. Let's jump right into it. These first two are Jetstream Light Touch. First, we have the Jetstream Light Touch Single in 0.7 millimeter. I did a pretty extensive review on this one a couple of weeks ago. And this is the Jetstream Light Touch 4-in-1 multi-pen in 0.5 millimeter. Basically, we have the Jetstream, which is that really nice oil-based ink, kind of a high-end ballpoint, a modern ballpoint, whatever you want to call it. And then earlier this year, maybe two, three months ago, Uni released the new ink formulation that they call the Light Touch formula. Basically, it's a smoother ink. It's almost too smooth, but I've been using it a lot since the Jetstreams are some of my favorite pens, kind of go in and out as being my favorite. I would say that them changing the ink formula was something I was curious about, but also maybe a little bit concerned, because a lot of us have grown very accustomed to that Jetstream. The Light Touch comes in uh, this really nice single color body. It's all plastic or, or rubbery down here and plastic here. I think it looks great, kind of like sporty, like the Jetstream looks with some some angles, this little narrowed waist and this grippy area here, very cool monochrome and uh, some of these like cool muted colors. And this is 0.7, it comes in 0.5 in red, blue and black, I think, no other colors. Yeah, I've been liking this one a lot. It's really quite smooth, fun to use, has a lot of what I like about the Jetstream, uh, but it may be too smooth. Again, I'm, I go back and forth on that. Earlier when I did the video, I didn't talk about the multi-pen. These are kind of expensive. I think this is like, I don't, I don't know how much it is in Japan, but now if you want to get one in the US, I think you're spending like 20 bucks or something on a pretty standard Jetstream 4-in-1 multi-pen. And when I mean 4-in-1, I mean four colors. So black, blue, green, red, and then plus one just means it has the pencil in there as well. And these all use the light touch refill, which is the... SXR-L. So the previous refill in this would have been the SXR-80-0.5 or 05. Uh, here it's the SXR-L80-05. So that L just means the light touch ink formula. It's kind of the, the same uh, same refill, the SXR-80, but with, but with the new ink. Everything else is the same. And that's something we'll get into in a second, which is another jet stream. This is the standard uh, four plus one. It's kind of wide, has a sort of like tinny kind of ring to it. Just uh, quickly, this is this really cool Midori A5 notebook, which I'd never seen before in this green color. I've been uh, picked up one of these recently and it's, uh, I love this Midori paper. So I'll be using that for testing. So this is the light touch. Very smooth. This is the 0.5 millimeter, so you're not getting the same line density or line width that you have in the in this one. But you could hear how smooth this is. This pen has a sort of like hollow, sort of tinny feel when you write with it. And if it's on a textured surface like this, like this desk. I have. It's really loud and almost sort of annoying, and that's just the pen sort of like reverberating or something like that. Was it's hollow and big, and you could hear it, right? There's no dampening or anything in there. That those like skinny little refills are kind of shaking around. So anyway, I don't really love these larger multi pens like four plus ones. Just more ink colors than I need. Three colors is great. I don't need the pencil and the pens end up getting too wide, but I do like that light touch ink. I just, I uh, really like Jetstream three color. 
Okay, so that's the Jetstream Light Touch and Single and Multi. I've also been using this pen. This is the Jetstream 3 Color, which they've had for a while. This was introduced as the Jetstream 3 Color. I get, they call it the Jetstream 3. And then this one is the More, M-O-R-E. That's because this model came out, I don't know, sometime in 2023, I think. And the black refill uses a new design. So it has thinner walls and it can accommodate, Uni says 70% more ink versus the standard one, which is the blue and the red. So this one is called the SXR-ML05. So SXR, that's the standard gesturing refill. ML, that's the more, and then the 0.5, right? The uh, SXR, L is the one we looked at before. The ML is this. It's a little confusing, but what if they came out with a more in the light touch formula? That would be the like SXR, what, MLL or something like that? It, you know, I don't think they were playing too far ahead with their naming conventions. But anyway, this is a pen we've talked about many times on this channel because it's a very nice Jetstream multi pen, and I like the shape and look of it. It's not too wide, it has this nice grip area. But I just, uh, I couldn't help myself. I bought a special edition color. This one's called, let's see, I wrote it down. This is called Chic Gray. And this one is a special limited edition collaboration with a company called Zoff, Z-O-F-F. -F. And they don't have any branding on here that I could tell. But from what I could, what I could figure out is that Zoff is a Japanese eye care brand or maybe eyeglasses brand, something like that. I couldn't tell if they sell the glasses or like they get the, the fittings or something like that. But anyway, they do some sort of eyewear. And I guess they did a collabo with Jetstream and came out with these cool colors, like this sort of like muted gray. It's almost slightly purplish in person, but it's probably just gray. And then it also matches with this orange color here, the clear orange and the button and the clip, these sort of beige orange-ish sliders. And then it has these labels, which the other one doesn't have red, blue, the black is the button. Uh, it doesn't say black anywhere. So this is a limited edition colorway, which again, it was like 10 bucks for like a $6 pen, which really doesn't make any sense economically, but again, I couldn't help myself. And then you see that little glasses there. Again, that's because Zoff makes eyeglasses or eyeglasses fittings or whatever it is. I'd never heard of the company before, but you can check it out. Anyway, that's the Jetstream 3 More in the limited edition colorway. I think some of these are still available, but they sold out pretty quick. And again, there's no real reason to get it. It's just like, you know, if you, uh, if you just need a weird color. Next up is this pen. This is the Pentonic Link. So this is a Indian ballpoint pen, like Indian as in made in India and sold for the Indian market. But you can buy these pretty easily now on Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. And of the... Of the pens I've tried in India, which is like a few dozen at this point, maybe like 40, 50 different pens, the Link Pentonic and the Hauser XO are, I'd say, are my two favorites. So uh, this one came out in a new color and it's like maybe 20 of them for $5 or something like that. So I needed some utility pens. I guess I didn't really need them. Let's be honest. I wanted to buy some utility pens for throwing in a, uh, what is it, a junk drawer in my car or something like that. And I bought some of these because I saw the new color and it was like five bucks and free shipping. So why not? I think this, this color looks quite nice. It used to be black with dark blue highlights. Now it's gray on gray, which I think looks much better. This is a nice, smooth ballpoint. It's not quite as smooth as the Hauser XO, but it's really cool. And, and the pens are somewhat similar. I think that's because these are made by, by Link, which is one large Indian pen company. And the Hauser XO is made by a company called Flare. So I think they're like primary competitors with one another. So it's not shocking that they both have kind of like high style, affordable, again, like relatively affordable ballpoint pens that are sold in, that are capped and sold in multi-packs. This one has a more of a standard, like I would say a conical style tip, whereas the uh, Hauser XO has more of a needle tip, which like aesthetically I don't like, but they both function quite well. So that's the Pen Tonic from Link. I've been using this pen a bit as well. This is uh, a friction called the Y or WA or something like that. W A A I. I'm sure someone out there will know the correct pronunciation. First of all, another thing I'm 
I've been a sucker for lately. And I never used to be someone that would buy special edition pens or limited edition colorways. I just kind of ignored it because kind of like, what's the point? Uh, anyway, so I had to buy this one because the, uh, it has this cool muted color scheme, which, which frankly I think looks really nice. Uh, it, it's not dissimilar from the uh, Uni Light Touch, but uh, for the friction, it looks great. And the pilot's been making really great looking friction pens for the past year or so. After, after like decades or maybe a decade plus of the friction pens just looking like absolute, like just garbage. Uh, you know, like elementary school design, very dated metallics, and it, all of a sudden, Pilot's making them look really super. Here's the the Ball Knock Zone, which came out earlier this year, or I think maybe late last year. This one looks awesome too. Again, cool monochrome, nice highlights, good matching colorways. Uh, look at this, even this little interior piece in here under the smoke color, like like nice work. And then they came out with this one. This is not a replacement to the Ball Knock Zone. This is a special edition Y, or maybe just a new version. I'm not sure if it's limited edition or not, but this one has the muted colors on the body, the clear clip instead of the metal clip, which actually I think the clear one looks great. Really nice action here. Just listen to this action on this like $2 retractable erasable pen. Really just, it feels great matching muted color eraser and then uh the because it's the y it uses a bunch of weird colors so they use these muted cool colors like uh dry peach mini pink sand beige uh it is the old version refill unfortunately so the new version of the refill the friction 2.0 or whatever it's called it's metal and they write a lot nicer and it's a better ink but, and again, I could go ahead and, and fix that problem right now by doing this. Uh, but the, uh, the Y does come with very cool muted colors. So uh, again, that's not just on the outside. The, the ink colors are, are muted. I don't tend to love them. That's why I've been, I bought this like gray as opposed to maybe it's a black. I forget what it's this one now. I bought this as opposed to, you know, chic, whatever it was, like dry peach or something. Obviously the dry peach is gonna be for like journaling and underlying and stuff like that, where you don't need the legibility or the contrast, but for real writing, I do tend to prefer that. Anyway, so that's the, that's the why. And again, it's just a cool pen. It's a little bit on the narrow side, honestly. So I don't use it for very long writing sessions, but I have been just enjoying the aesthetics and uh, I was happy to pick it up just to support Pilot and their excellent design work. Then we have this one. This is the Pilot Juice, which again, came out in a bunch of new colorways this year. And I hadn't bought a Pilot Juice in a very long time. And it's getting to be kind of long in the tooth as far as these gel pens go. So this one's called the uh, Pilot Juice Classic Color. This is in green. And again, it's like two, three bucks. Uh, what, what is it? See if I've got the price on there. Uh, no price on there, but you know, it'd be like 200 yen, something like that. And uh, I figured I'd just pick it up, got the nice eraser clip because it's the new colorway. You see, again, muted colors here. That's clearly become a theme. Monochrome body, hard rubber with matching grip. Again, almost every pen we've looked at today has that. Uh, this one has the spring clip and these cool vintage colors on this. This one's not called the vintage color or whatever. They came out with three or four different families of pens recently within the juice this is the classic color and this is just a pilot juice in a new body again i hadn't used a pilot juice pen in a very long time so maybe two three four years ago i bought a 1.0 millimeter and hadn't really used it much kind of like the pilot juice is sort of a dated gel pen and it's served its purpose you know years ago whenever it came out and hadn't really i hadn't really thought about it much since then so i figured I'd give it a shot i've been using it a little bit and uh, I like this color. It's kind of like a uh, a muted green. It's fine for note taking. It's not something you'd use for like extended use, but it's fine day to day. And got the new body, it has a nice, nice click, good build quality, but really nothing really to write home about. The juice, like I said, is sort of a an art brand for uh, RT gel pens and Pilot honestly hasn't done a whole lot with it 
over the past couple of years. It's not like there's a juice executive edition or limited editions or anything like that. This these new vintage and classic and pastel colors or color families, I guess, has been the most I've seen them doing with it. So yeah, those are the no pencils this time. So the pens I've been writing with lately. The juice is is fine. The just three more three more I like, but again, talked about enough. The Light Touch 4 Plus 1, again, I think this is overpriced. I'd wait till these were more easily available in the US, and I don't love the, the build quality. The Y is pretty cool, but yeah, not really anything too special. The Pentonics are worth checking out, but again, I, I tend to prefer the Housers. I like these for like Indian pens. And then I would definitely highly rec recommend checking out the Jetstream Light Touch in the single. These are very cool. I really enjoy using these. I've been using this pen a whole lot. And uh, it's kind of been my go-to for, I don't know, maybe th since I first got it. So like two, three months now, and it has kind of replaced some other pens that I, you know, the sort of like that day-to-day -day pen you always grab for me for a very long time. It was a Sarasa R in white and blue, just this one, you know, with this one, you could tell us as the filthy grip uh, that I've been using this one a lot. And I've been using the Jetstream Light Touch a whole lot and still wrapping my head around that new ink but I do really like the jet streams always. And I was glad to see the, the new ink formula come out. And I just hope it doesn't displace the old ink formula, which I honestly don't think it will. So yeah, those are the pens and pencils I've been using in July, 2024. Thanks for watching.